Hello everyone, it's August 16th, 2014. This article taken from USA Today, not just Argentina, 11 countries near bankruptcy. After years of bitter court battles with creditors, Argentina has defaulted on its debt, according to rating agency Standard & Poor's. After failing to come to an agreement with its creditors from its previous default in 2001, the country missed necessary bond payments on July 31st, triggering the default announcement. As of publication, other organizations, most notably the rating agency Moody's, Investor Service, and the International Swaps and Derivatives Association, a derivatives, derivatives trade group, have yet to release public statements confirming the default. Argentina is not the only country that has struggled or even failed to pay its debt in recent years. It is hardly the only country with a severely impaired credit rating either alongside Argentina. Moody's current lists 10 other countries with a rating of CAA1 or worse. A CAA1 rating is several notches below BA1, which still claims or carry substantial credit risk. Based on ratings from Moody's Investor Service, these are the 11 countries at risk of default. The countries with the lowest credit ratings significantly differ one from another. They span the globe, ranging from Greece and Ukraine in Europe, to Pakistan in Asia, to Ecuador, Venezuela, and Belize in the Americas. These nations also suffer from vastly different problems. Some nations, such as Ukraine and Egypt, owe their recent downgrades to political conditions. Others, such as Belize and Ecuador, have actually been upgraded in recent years based on their improved financial positions. When a government has a great deal of debt relative to the size of its economy, its credit rating may also be lower. Three of the nations potentially at risk of default had among the world's highest debt levels at 120% of GDP or more based on 2014 estimates. According to the International Monetary Fund, IMF, Greece's debt is projected to hit nearly 175% of GDP by the end of this year, more than that of any other nation in the world except for Japan. However, not all countries with low credit ratings necessarily have large amounts of outstanding government debt. For example, Ecuador's government debt, according to the IMF, was forecasted to total just 24.8 percent of GDP in 2014, an exceptionally low amount in many cases. These countries simply do not regularly access international bond markets, either because of small financial sectors or because of debt restructuring agreements. Borrowing funds in the international bond market can be quite expensive for countries with poor credit ratings. Countries have to pay high interest rates on their debt because investors require greater returns on what they perceive to be riskier investments. For example, a 10-year U.S. Treasury note pays an annual coupon of just 2.5 percent. By contrast, a comparable bond recently issued by Jamaica pays out 7.65% a year. In Greece, yields only 10-year government bonds reached 29% in early 2012, right before the country defaulted. Um, I'm going to post a link to this article. The financial market all over the world is in a crisis, and we would be best to start preparing for what's coming. Have a great day, everyone.